welcome to my channel. Here on Abby the Witch, we do witchy and alternative things. If you are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. Nice to meet you and thank you so much for joining us today. So here today on Abby the Witch, as promised, I'm going to be talking about what I brought with me in my travel altar or what I put in my travel altar when I go, when I go places um, and I want to bring my altar with me. And I want to do witchcraft in other places and magic in other places. What do I bring with me? Um, your travel altar may look different than mine. And I would love to know what you put in your travel altar. So let me know down below. So before I show you what's in my travel altar, I wanted to go ahead and give my shout out for today. So if my shout out for this week, I should say, because I post weekly, <laughs> my shout out for this week is Aurora Dawn. She is another witch here on YouTube. I adore her. I am so glad I found her channel. She has some really cool content on her channel. It's very like practical. She just shows you how to do things. Um, she has a really cool video on measuring energy that she just released and I think it's so cool. She has done candle gazing. You guys know how I feel about candle gazing. She's done a candle gazing video. Um, she talks about all kinds of things and she's really cool. She's very experienced. She's been practicing. I think she's been practicing for a while. Um, so go show her some love. Again, that, her name is Aurora Dawn. She goes by Dawn. Um, I will link her down below. Go show her some love and support. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and jump on into the content of this video. Let's do it. All right guys, so I first just wanted to show you what I actually put my travel altar in, like what my travel altar is, like how I transport things. Um, I put my travel altar and actually use the surface of this as my altar. Um, this is a cigar box. <laughs> It's just an old cigar box. It latches, it's amazing. Um, it smells like cigars, it smells great. Um, I got mine at Goodwill for like four bucks. Um, I actually got quite a few old cigar boxes. Someone had, was a cigar, uh, apparently a cigar collector or something and um, donated all of their old cigar boxes to Goodwill. And I am very grateful because I use them. I use them. Um, now I was told, I don't know how true this is. I kind of want to go and just try it out myself. But I was told that if you go into a smoke shop where they sell cigars and you ask for old cigar boxes, they'll just give you for free old cigar boxes. I don't know if that's true. Don't take my word for it. Take me up on that? I don't know. I kind of want to go try it myself. Um, if I ever do, I'll let you guys know if it was successful. <laughs> but I've, I've been told by other people um, that if you just go into a smoke shop and ask for old cigar boxes, they'll just give it to you for free. I don't know how true that is. Um, like I said, I got mine from Goodwill. And they're so nice. I mean, it's just a wooden box. It has hinges. Um, Mine, not all of them have clasp, but mine has a little clasp. Um, yeah, it worked perfect. Let's open it up and see what I have inside, shall we? So, and I love this cigar box too because it has the yellow highlights. I just thought it was cool. But anyway, the first thing that I thought to bring was candles. Um, candle gazing, like I said, huge part of my practice. Um, candle magic, huge part of my practice. So I had to bring some candles, but in this tiny little cigar box, I can't, I couldn't fit like my big, I don't know if you guys can see in the background, like my tall glass candles that I usually use at home. I can't fit those in here, obviously. So I actually, and I'll link these down below. I got a package of, on Amazon, really cheap too. I think it was cheap, I can't remember. There's all kinds of choices you can look at if mine is too expensive for you, but um, I got colored tea lights. And I got a package, um, has, I want to say 10 different colors, 10 different colors, five of each color. Okay. So there's, a, there was quite a few. So I brought black, bring a black candle with me. I always light a black candle during my practice. I always do. White. I brought blue because I was going by the water. I didn't know if I was going to do water magic. 
Um, another black candle just in case because that's the candle I like the most. Um, yellow and red. I just threw a few colors in there, but the only ones I ended up lighting was black and white. <laughs> um, but I knew I was gonna have to bring a black candle and I was like, what am I gonna do? Yeah, there's colored tea lights. I don't even know. I don't even know, but there is. And there's actually, I actually saw these before I looked online. I saw them at a metaphysical shop that's nearby my home here in Indiana called um, New Age People. And they had tea lights too, tons of different colors of tea lights. Um, so who knows, you might wanna go check out your metaphysical store near you. you, they might have some colored tea lights for you. I don't know, they might. Um, but they do have them on Amazon for sure. Like I said, I'll link those down below. That was a must for me. All right guys, so the next two things that I brought, I was just gonna bring, um, smudging is another huge part of my practice. And I was just gonna bring a Palo stick, but I decided that wasn't enough. It smells so good. Um, and I actually brought a little tiny nub of sage. Now I do know, I do know that a lot of met metaphysical shops um, and there are a lot of sites online, including Amazon, do your research though, um, you can get little mini smudge sticks. Um, now, since I already had this little nub, <laughs> and I knew it was gonna be enough for me for vacation. I didn't bother getting that. Um, but I do know that there are many smudge sticks that you can get out there that are way easier to travel with. Palo, Palo sticks are easy, Palo Santo, um, because they're skinny, just chunks of wood, just throw it in there. But um, yeah, if I can find a link to a reputable source of mini sage bundle sticks, bundle sticks, smudge sticks, whatever. Um, I'll link that down below as well. All right, so the next thing I had to bring were some crystals. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna bring all my crystals. I have a huge collection of crystals that I love, um, but I wasn't about, about to bring all of them. Um, so I just brought ones that I use the most or I thought I would probably use most on vacation. So I always, when I'm traveling with crystals, and my tarot cards too. I'll get to that though. I always put them in a nice pouch. I never just throw my crystals in the box. I never just throw my crystals. Now, if I'm like going out to Target or something like that, yeah, like I might stick a, tar a, a crystal in my pocket. Um, I usually don't, I usually wear my crystals. But anyway, um, if I'm going to be bring, bringing crystals with me, like traveling somewhere, um, I put them in a nice, pouch not only to protect them but i just feel like it's it's just more respectful to them i don't know if that doesn't call to you then don't worry about it i worry about it <laughs> so i put it in a nice pouch material um yeah i just think it's important to do that it's just nicer to your crystals i brought clear quartz and black tourmaline now these aren't two of my oh you guys can't even see that can you these are two of my most used crystals. I use clear quartz and black tourmaline probably the most. Um, so I knew that th these were gonna be ones that I wanted to bring. Um, clear quartz especially is just like my, a multi-use. It's like my multi-use crystal. I can use it for so many different things as I've talked about previously. Um, black tourmaline is very important to me as well for protection and yeah was not going to go anywhere out of state without <laughs> without these two crystals for sure always bring those i view black tourmaline as protection and clear quartz like i said is multi-use but it's mostly like my energy bank the last two crystals that i brought or stones um hematite i brought hematite i associate hematite with um attracting um, and balancing, I, it has magnetic properties. So I, I kind of associate it with attraction and balancing, like balancing on the poles or whatever. Um, that's what I associate hematite with. I was hoping that maybe bringing the hematite with me would attract some of the cleansing energy of the Great Lake that I visited. Um, I truly feel like it did. Um, it helped me anyway. And then the last crystal, or I'm sorry, stone, whatever you guys want to call it, I don't know. I call them all crystals, but <laughs> um, I brought my Labradite. 
I, like I said in my last video, I think it was my witchy haul, um, and this was in that video, I am obsessed with my Labradite. I pretty much at least look at this guy every day. I just, I, I, he's one of my go-to crystals now. Um, I associate Labradite with a few things, but mostly connecting with spirit, connecting with the mystical, all that is mystical. Um, that's what I associate Labradite with. Let me know down below what you associate these two things with. I'm, I'm very curious. Very, very curious. Hematite and Labradite. All right, guys, moving on along. The next thing that I knew I had to bring with me was a tarot card deck. Now, I tried putting my full <laughs> traditional tarot deck in here, and I, it just took too much space. It took, too, took up too much space. I had been wanting to get a smaller deck and little did I know, well, I found this out a while ago and I've been wanting to get this particular deck, but there's actually a travel sized traditional tarot card deck that you can get. Um, I wasn't aware of this until, like I said, it was a while ago when I found this out, but even before vacation, I had been wanting to get a mini deck and my vacation that I took was honestly just an excuse for me to just bite the bullet and go ahead and get it. <laughs> so I did. Um, and it's very, very handy. Um, has all the major arcana, all of the minor. It's just your normal, average, traditional tarot card deck. It's just really tiny, really small. And it fits perfectly. It has a tiny little book <laughs> if you need it for reference. Um, and I put mine, just like my crystals, like I had said earlier, I always put my tarot cards in, a, in my pouch. If I, especially if I'm traveling with it, I will put my tarot cards in some kind of velvet or silk. Obviously it doesn't have to be real velvet or real silk. Um, some kind of nice, softer material pouch. Now all these pouches I got, I keep all pouches that I get. Like if I, in the past, I've ordered like sunglasses. I had sunglasses come in this pouch. Um, earrings came in this pouch. Like all the pouches that I have, I have a huge collection are from previous orders from something completely different. <laughs> like I just keep all the pouches because I know that I like to keep my crystals and all kinds of things, tarot decks in these little pouches. They come really in handy um, for traveling for sure. So tip to the witch. Um, if you order anything and it comes in a nice velvet pouch like this or whatever, keep it, keep it, keep it and store it like next to your altar or whatever comes in handy. I also brought some of my loose incense that I made, that I made myself. I got this idea. Of course, tons of witches make their own loose incense. I know that. I finally got, I finally got fully inspired <laughs> to make my own loose incense from Amethyst Ascension. I love her, but anyway, she recently has posted a video on making incense and she shows you how to do it. And it's it's a very neat video, I think. Um, she made her own blend. And I was like, oh, that looks so cool and empowering. I'm gonna do that. So I did, <laughs> and I love it. And I decided to bring some with me on vacation. My my personal incense blend that I made for myself recently and that I brought with me is crushed up bay leaf, lavender, and sage. I think that's it. And I decided to bring it with me. I ended up not using it because I didn't have any hot coals and I just, I don't know, I never got around to using it. I just used my smudge stick instead. But uh, yeah. I still opened it up and smelled it a lot. And yeah, it was still nice to have. <laughs> the last thing I brought with me on vacation was some dried flowers. Now, if I'm going to go anywhere, I was excited to go up. Okay, I should have said this in the beginning, but I went to the Great Lakes in Michigan. <laughs> I went to Lake Huron. And I was really excited because I knew I was gonna wanna probably take at least some sand, if not some shells and things like that. If I'm going to take from anything, especially in nature, I always give something back. I almost always give something back, unless, you know, there's exceptions obviously, but 
I wanted to bring an offering and I meditated on it and I felt like the lake really wanted me to bring some dried flowers as an offering. Um, so I put some, it's so cool because I put some dead flowers into the lake, dead dried flowers into the lake and um, I could just feel its appreciation for it. Like that's exactly what it had asked for. And as soon as I did that, a, a beautiful piece of seaweed like gently washed up to me. And I just like knew, I knew that seaweed was for me. I don't know, something in me just told me that this is a gift for you. So I took it. <laughs> and it's actually, I have dried seaweed on my altar right now, but it really, the lake, he really appreciated my offering really appreciated it and I also gave this offering too. I buried it into the sand I asked for some sand to take home too and I was able to get some sand to take home and I buried some flowers it was much appreciated I could still feel it and um, yeah it was cool really hope you appreciated this short and sweet video on what I bring in my travel altar with me um, if your travel altar is different please let me know down below. I would love to hear how you do things. Also, if this inspired you to make your own travel altar, that would make me feel great. <laughs> I'd love to know about it. Please let me know that also down below. And that's about it, guys. So until next time, I hope you stay well. Thank you. Bye.